the local station and your official Jaguar station. The loss is being called embarrassing. The Jags fall to the Raiders at home, giving coach Jack Del Rio a victory for his former team. Or no action for the Oakland Raiders. The final score, 33 to 16. It was the Jags' third straight loss at Everbank Field, adding more speculation about the future for head coach Gus Bradley and David Caldwell. Obviously very disappointed in, in uh, what took place out there. Just felt like we were a team that had a lot of good things going. You know, had, um, you know, 2-0 and in the last two games. Had a chance to be 3-0, and play in front of our home crowd. A uh, lot of energy from our team. Excited about this opportunity. And uh, not to, to get it is frustrating. This man knows what it's like to be on the field and in that position. Quarterback Mark Brunel, good to have Bruce, you Bruce, good morning. Is it me, or do the Jags just not seem to be in the game? Well, there's, uh, there's a lot of problems going on right now. And, and Bruce, really, uh, it starts with your quarterback. Your team rises and falls on the play of your quarterback. And our young quarterback uh, is struggling right now. And uh, he has all the tools. Uh, physically, he's got a strong arm. He's athletic. He's big. But I think uh, he's pressing a little bit. And when your quarterback's not playing well, uh, you tend not to win games, Bruce, and so hopefully he can get things going. No, he's young, and maybe that's just an yeah. excuse. But he was philosophical about the loss. Listen. Sundays are kind of the day to where you can, you know, at least for myself, that emotion kind of takes over. Obviously, if you win, you're happy, and if you lose, you're upset. Uh, and then you got to move on because it does no good to be frustrated or happy tomorrow. We got a short week, which I think is an extremely good thing for us. Uh, we get to forget about it quick, turn around, and go play a divisional game. Now, that's just speak about I really don't want to talk about it. That's what he's really saying. <laughs> Typically, when you lose football games, you don't want to talk to the yeah. media. You just want to get in your car and go home, but you have to do it. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the, the spot where he was intercepted in the end zone. Yeah, that was frustrating. And, and uh, uh, again, it, it's a young quarterback, a poor decision in the red zone. Interceptions, Bruce, are going to happen. Go but ahead. when they happen in the end zone, that, that could be really difficult. But there were some good things. We got a good run by Chris Iver here, 42 yards. That's a bright spot. We knew that the rushing game had to improve and it did um but uh very good run there by chris ivory and so some good things to take away but it's hard when even those are there's a few positives when you lose in that way uh it's tough to be excited about anything bruce and that frustration manifested itself in a very interesting way for two of the dag players and one of the raiders i mean they they had their tempers flare and I was reading an article uh, with Paul Puzlesny. He says, look, you've got to stay professional out there. You can't let your temper get in the way. Yeah, you can't. And, and it's an emotional game, but you can't let the emotions get the better of you, especially when it, it costs you uh, penalties and uh, it costs your team. You hurt the team when you just get so overwhelmed with emotion and frustration that you lash out. Uh, that's not leadership. That's not thinking about your team first. That needs to be fixed. These guys lost their poise. Not all of them, but... A couple guys lost their poise, and it hurt, hurt the football team. As you move toward Thursday, and as, as Blake pointed out, it is a quick turnaround. How do you change the culture? I mean, do you capitalize on something like Chris Ivory's 42-yard run and say that was a real positive in the game? You look at the positives, but you watch the tape, and they'll do that this morning, and they've got to make sure that they look at the negatives and be coached and learn from it. The best thing about Thursday is that they get back on the field very, very soon. Um, they get an opportunity very quickly to right the wrongs and to fix things. They need to win really bad. And so if you have to wait till Sunday, that could be frustrating. you got to wait three more days. You want to play, Bruce, right now. Get on the field because there's so much negative. There's so many bad things going on. You just need to get a W, and hopefully the Jaguars can do that against the Titans. If you look at social media, a lot of people are calling for Gus Bradley's head, David Caldwell's head. They're asking for Shad Khan to do something. Is this really a coaching and management problem, or is it a player problem? I think when you're two and four, uh, I think it's an everybody problem. I think it's the players. I think it's the coaching. I think it's the management. You win as a team and, and as an organization. You lose as a team and, and a, as an organization. I don't think there's one area where you, where you just point the blame. Uh, it's not the time for it. It's not the place for it. And everybody deserves... Um, the blame for where we're at right now, and but they've, they've got to get this thing fixed. Only six games into it, uh, still ten, 10 games left, time to right these wrongs and, and get on, on the right track. Get some one-on-one -on -one time with Blake in advance of the game against the Titans Thursday night. What would you say to him? You know what? I would just say relax. Go play football. It's a game. Uh, go enjoy yourself. Forget about all the, the, the noise, things that are being said. Take the pressure off yourself and just go play football. 
He's a good football player. He can be a really good football player. We saw that last year, Bruce. Uh, just relax and go play. Focus on what's going to happen on the field. Absolutely. Mark Brunel, always appreciate you. Thanks, Thank you Bruce. Thank you. All righty. You can read Mark's Monday morning quarterback column right now on newsforjacks.com. It's in the sports section. And tonight, join us for All Access. Channel 4's Sam Kavaris goes over film in the four-down territory. Our guest this week, John Ozer. It starts tonight at 7, Jan.